Source is saying to you today, you are being prepared by divine forces for greatness. Open up your heart and surrender to the divine path. Anything that is taking you away from the divine path will be eliminated. Do not hold on to what is not meant for you. You will know when you get the blessing that I have planned for you. Then you will know everything that you have gone through or happened in your life is worth it. Remember, the one who has sent you, the one who has started something in your life, has a plan especially for you. You only need to have faith in me. Remember, I am your father. You are my child. I love you. Know that there are people and opportunities that are only meant to be in your life for a brief period to teach you lessons. You don't have to accept someone back into your life just because you can forgive them for what they did to you. Both for yourself and for them, forgiveness is a potent healer. However, you are not required to put yourself in danger once more. It's crucial to do it with grace and compassion if you decide to go on without this individual and forgive them. You will get weighed down and unable to go on if you hold on to your bitterness and hatred. Sometimes the plan may not work in the way you think, but it will end up with a new blessing you never thought you would get. So you did not get what you think you needed. Do not be anxious about it. Instead, pray about it to me, have faith in me, and remember I have a plan for you. Trust me, I know what I am doing in your life. Stay motionless and be aware. Be quiet and recognize that I am God. I will exalt myself in the earth and among the peoples of the world. My helper is the Lord, so that we can confidently declare, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do to me. We should read keep in mind those in authority over you who have imparted the word of God to you and whose faith has been confirmed in light of their conclusion. I am capable of anything, even if you did well in communicating with my plight. Only those who wait upon the Lord may accomplish all things through Christ who strengthens me. Instead, pay attention to your life's positive features and the opportunities that are in store for you. Keep in mind that everything will happen at the appropriate moment and that your angel has a plan for you. God is saying to you today, you might be stuck with that because of that you may not be able to talk with anyone, which might have led you to lose friends and relations. When I have a plan for a person, I will accomplish it in such a way that the person will see my grace throughout the process by giving a testimony to glorify me among people. You know the story of Joseph. Even amid everything, he never lost his faith in me. His faith was increasing day by day. When the right time came, he saw what I prepared for him. For everything, I have the right time. You are always cherished by your Lord. Do not despair. He remembers you and loves you like his child. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. Source is saying to you today, your refusal to give up is unlocking doors that will lead you into the best chapter of your life. You let go of energy that was holding you back, and now you are thriving. Angel Message The angels are saying to you to trust in the power of synchronicity and divine timing. Everything is happening as it is meant to, in order for your soul to evolve. Trust the process. You made a quantum leap. Give yourself credit for how far you've come. Angels are saying to you, Everything that is falling apart right now is clearing up the space for your long-awaited blessings to enter your life. Be patient and trust your journey. The words unfolding are worth it. Have faith in. Your angel is telling you that navigating this circumstance will be very challenging for you since you will be in a difficult situation. On the one hand, the idea of reuniting with someone you previously cared for and loved profoundly may make you feel relieved and even excited. On the other side, they may have previously abandoned you without warning, making you afraid to trust them again. Your angel is telling you that it's crucial to step back and consider your alternatives and feelings in this circumstance. Which one of you can increase his height by one cubit with some thought? And why do you think about clothing? 
think about the field lilies. They do not labor in any way while growing, nor do they spin. Even Solomon, in all of his splendor, was not dressed like one of these. I say to you, so if God dresses the grass of the field, which is today and will be cast into the oven tomorrow, will he not also clothe you? You will notice a shift from stagnation to flow, from lack to abundance, from confusion to clarity, from pain to peace. This is the turning point. I am aligned and on time. The turning point is here. I will look back on all the difficult times with a smile, knowing that every challenge was essential for my growth. God is saying to you today, when something happens in someone's life and when they worry about it, you will say to them, you do not have to worry about anything. Trust God. God has a plan for you. Your Lord is speaking to you today. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. Your journey has been remarkable, and it is about to get better. The inner growth you are undergoing right now will not only be felt for the rest of your life, but for generations to come. I am surrounded by people that want to see me thrive. I cut out all the people that got jealous when they saw me succeed. I am great. You will receive unexpected blessings. My life is great. I am great. Everything is happening for me. All the things I am currently experiencing are only taking me to the next level of my life. I am growing. I am getting better. I choose to believe in sudden miracles and unexpected blessings. My energy is pure and focused. There is nothing that can get in the way of me and my dreams because I am fulfilling God's plan. Hype yes if you believe in God. God bless you. God wants you to keep this person in your life forever because they were handpicked just for you. You will soon be given a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You might not be aware of it, but it has been upsetting the spiritual order and luring evil spirits that are harming your house and your loved ones. I am aware that you could feel a strong emotional connection to these items, but I beg you to let go. It's time for you to place your faith in me and know that I will provide for your ultimate good and bring you something better. Additionally, I want to emphasize how interconnected everything in your life is. Your angels are speaking to you today. Your choices and actions have an impact on both you and the people around you. In addition to releasing yourself from their bad impact, removing these items will have a good knock-on effect that will help everyone in your home and beyond. If you're still unclear about these objects, allow me to explain. Candles, mirrors, red or black pillows, and paintings with black or red accents should all be thrown away right away, not just from your living room or home, but also from your life. This famous person intends to propose and wed you. You must accept their proposal because they will go above and beyond to make it perfect. It will be a lovely and thrilling event, and you will be pleased and happy in their company because they will continue to adore you no matter what. The area in which you live is a holy place. It is a place where you assemble with the people you love, where you interact with one another, and where you seek solace and comfort. Give thanks to the angel for bringing this person into your life and say amen to embracing the journey ahead. Your angel wants to introduce you to a crucial somebody who will have a profound impact on your life. According to the angel, someone is getting ready to take a significant risk for you. You must keep these areas pure, tidy, and free of any negative energy that can sabotage the harmony and peace you deserve. I wish you all the best and hope you will have the fortitude to let go of anything that is no longer in your best interests. My child, know that I always have your back. Your never-ending efforts and restless nights have been successful. Appreciate the Almighty's deeds that are in harmony with your life. Days characterized by disillusionment and hopelessness will pass. Your past suffering will now serve as your source of strength. It's time to break free from the constraints of negativity in your life. 
Soon, there will be more excellent options that offer countless financial advantages. God wants you to be aware of His ongoing involvement in your life. Your body is being healed, damaged relationships are being repaired, and chances beyond your wildest dreams are being made possible by Him. During this period of change, patience is essential. Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it's hard, but in the end, it's all for the best. Never stop trusting God and the divine plan. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.